peace brothers and sisters who have arrived here on this channel this is another last minute video that I'm making because another diamond has appeared in this already sea of treasures from God so this this diamond that just appeared confirms even further that this timeline that we have 2023 and 2030 seems to be correct so we are correct in expect the rapture of the church at this moment starting as soon as now because you probably have seen in the skies the full moon today which means tomorrow for us should be to Beat or the half point of the month of Av, the month of the lion in which that will be the day of marriages that will be the day of the taken of brides so we have been expecting the rapture for this time frame and we are very excited to see this especially now that this new information has come that even further supports the idea that we soon we are soon leaving so I have to thank our brother uh, Aaron from God a minute for this precious pearl so he and his team there amazing job that he did discovering this that is another grain of sand that aligns even further to this timeline that we have been expecting so uh, he's talking about here Leah and Rachel uh, and the story of Jacob which is Israel and that on Genesis 29 so on Genesis 29 we see the story of Jacob to uh, that's going to marry his wives Leah and Rachel and on Genesis 29 verse 23 which could represent 2023 that's when Jacob which is going to be Israel later uh, come and marries Leah the first and oldest daughter of Laban so but when evening came he took his daughter Leah and brought her to Jacob and Jacob made love to her so and that's when Jacob married Leah the first and eldest daughter of Laban Laban right here and then on verse 30 which could represent 2030 Jacob made love to Rachel also and his love for Rachel was greater than his love for Leah and he worked for Laban another seven years so on 2023 verse 23 Leah is uh, brought to marry Jacob Israel and on the verse 30 which means 2030 he marries Rachel very interesting because Leah the eldest daughter is the one that gives birth to seven children which could represent also the seven churches of Revelation so Leah is a type of church Rachel is a type of Israel that's very interesting by itself because of the verses in the Bible so 2023 2030 however they found out that this also happens in the skies with asteroids so he draw here what he saw in the stellarium which is something amazing I'm going to show you guys here what we have already been seeing for this time frame is something amazing by itself so we, ha we have here the stellarium app on the 19th of September 2023 we are seeing that that's the day that the United Nations with many will agree on a seven-year pact of the agenda 2030 so a seven-year peace deal let's put it that way will be signed confirmed by many on this date which the Jews will call it Feast of Trumpets for us knowing that they are one month in advance we call this the month of the Virgin which is to be the sixth month month of Elul and the month of Elul on the first month day of Elul that's when Moses ascended to the mountain and also Elul means harvest so it applies to both calendars there for the Jews trumpets for us uh, the harvest of Elul the harvest of the Virgin so this applies to the same uh, moment that's when they're gonna sign this deal for seven years and that's when we already see several uh, asteroids coming close here to the same time frame one of them being 
called Child, so the asteroid called Child. There's an asteroid called United Nations. There's an asteroid called Yeshua, which is Jesus. And there's an asteroid called Israel, which is here as well. And there is a rest asteroid called Laban, which is the father of Leah and the father of Rachel. So Laban is here, Israel is here, which is Jacob. And also at this time frame, they discovered an asteroid called Leah Mary. So Mary and Leah, which is also here. The first bride of Israel, the first bride of Jacob. And that's very interesting because the sign grows bigger and bigger. It, the, the grains of sand that they are named after the Bible that are pointing to this time frame is out of proportion, being so crazy, being aligned like this. It's something that you can never expect to fabricate at all because every person that discovered this asteroid named the asteroid, so this is way far beyond our comprehension when this comes to align. And what they saw is that <coughs> seven years from now, uh, another asteroid will be here on the Virgin in the same in the same time frame here, which will be the asteroid Rachel. But if you search out the asteroid Rachel, Rachel, the asteroid right now is at the opposite side of the Virgin. You can see that it is about seven constellations away from the Virgin, precisely on the other side at this moment. So Rachel, which is the second bride of, La of Israel, the second daughter of Laban, is all on the other side. However, on 2030, if you add here the days, on 2030, you will see Rachel will be here in the Virgin. Let me just go back here a couple hours. Here, in 2030, Rachel will be here in the Virgin. And also with Rachel will be Israel, which is Jacob. So Israel, Jacob will be here, and also Leah. So it's like Leah returned with Jacob, Israel, to marry the second bride of Laban, Rachel. So amazing confirmations of this happening here that adds even further to what we have been expecting for this time frame seems to be that right now will be the marriage with Leah, the church, they have seven uh, children, seven uh, men, seven uh, boys, which could represent the seven churches. And after seven years, Israel, which is Jesus, he is the Lion of the tribe of Judah, he marries the second bride, which is Rachel, which represents Israel, the one that will be saved in the end. Very interesting alignment. And also you can see that from now, which is the full moon, full moon, super blue moon, the 14th day of the month of Lion, because the sun is still in the Lion. It is the last day before tomorrow, which is Tubeav, the day of marriages, the day of taking the brides. And you see that Leah is already here at the 31st of August up to tomorrow, the 1st of September. 9.23, Leah is still here, Israel is still here, and I, be I believe Laban is still here. So, Leah, Israel, and Laban, they are all here in the Virgin starting now on the 1st of September, the day of marriages, the day of uh, taking the bride. So, the marriage could happen right now in this full moon as we have been expecting. Tomorrow will be the perfect day, and today and tomorrow will be uh, any time uh, around the world. So, a very likely possibility for us to leave any time from now until the next new moon, which will be for the Jews, Feast of Trumpets, for us, the first of Elul, the month of the harvest. 
so very high likeliness that the rapture will happen at any time between now and the next new moon. I'm very excited about it. This is another diamond from God that our beloved brothers and sisters shared with us and we are sharing with you. And nobody can fabricate this. This is something uh, amazing that only God can pull out, which for us emphasizes this moment of time that we can expect the rapture for sure. If you haven't done anything yet for those that will be left behind, please do right now because you might not have enough time. And for that, I have a brother that created this website called rapturekit.org. The link for this is on the description of my video here. And you can, if you have done, done anything about it, you can download this for free. It is an 8 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte uh, resource for you to have on your computer, to have on your cell phone that will be very useful for those that will be left behind. I just felt in my spirit that this brother did something amazing. I'm sharing in Portuguese as well because he translated to about eight languages, I, I guess. So it's a very information, informational uh, thing for everybody. Especially if you speak English, there's even more content in English. And this will be amazing for those that will be left behind. So explanation, uh, videos, cartoons, uh, comics, amazing information that this brother pu pulled up here for everybody to download. I believe right now our ministry is more towards those that will be left behind uh, instead of those who won't listen to us because as the wise virgins we cannot share our oil to the foolish virgins they will have to stay behind so we have to uh, change our focus to ministry for those that will be left behind because because we, right now we are so close to the rapture so this is an amazing thing that you can do download this and have it around if you can print if you can put it on a pen drive do it because this will be very easy to carry around this will be valuable information that might uh, disappear from the internet once the beast government comes into place that's what i wanted to tell you guys be ready because we are about to leave this place very very shortly i hope to see you guys very soon in the kingdom of our beloved god jesus christ Yahushua Mashiach. all glory to him I hope that we are this uh, time, the Leah, that will marry him seven years before Rachel, which seems perfect for us right now. And I'm very excited that this is it indeed, because another thing like this won't happen again. Amen. Maranatha, I hope to see you guys very, very soon. God bless each and every one of you that have stayed with me here for all this time. Amen. Maranatha.